why are you up late and it's not Sunday? <laughs> That's the funniest comment, man. Oh, man, who said that? That was pretty funny. Uh, Rando, yeah, that was the best. That was a good comment. That's pretty funny. Um, well, because I was doing some stuff with Leah, you know, uh, da, 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 and now I'm playing games and she's playing games. And then in a little bit, we're going to go watch a movie together. And while I'm waiting to go watch a movie, um, I figured I'm going to play some, uh, play some Diablo. So, uh, how are you doing? I hope you're wet. It's a weird, weird comment. Sorry. In a weird mood. I don't usually play hardcore uh, while streaming because every time I play hardcore while streaming, I die every time. Because I'm paying attention to chat and I die. Boom! What up, Juan? So I'm just gonna hang out, brother. Maybe we can we can test some stuff. We can hang out. We can test. I can test the the fucking donos if I want. I can get weird. I can take my pants off. I'm going live on Twitch too, probably soon. So at some point we're all banned in YouTube and we'll go fully Twitch, you know. Damn, what's going on, man? Jacob RP. What's up, Jacob? Getting pretty hyped up for uh, the Friday night Diablo or Friday daytime Diablo announcements. Pretty excited for that. My seasonal character has over a thousand Paragon, but this is my <coughs> hardcore character, so it's only at 600. I stopped playing seasonal like weeks, like three weeks ago and just started playing around on hardcore for anybody that wanted to know that. Snowing outside. Justin, what's up, dude? Justin, what's up? It's snowing outside again? Fuck, man, dude. It's going to be snowing all week. I really, I heard. And it's freezing. I know that. Elijah, what's up, man? What's up, kid? Oh my god, I went the wrong way. Ah! Yo, I went the wrong way. Yeah, I still don't have ancient shoulders, chest, hunters. Dude, my character isn't even half ancient right now. That's crazy. That's crazy, John. I like that. Yeah, Chicago's getting waffled. I'm not that fast on my hardcore character too, my uh I got my cheat death on, so once I get the cheat death and I start feeling all sexy, I'm like, yeah. Cheat death is on, we're good to go. Awareness doesn't kick in until like level sixty something, two or three or something. It's like you gotta wait till the very end to get that cheat death. What is it anyway? It's uh yeah, it's like, look at this, it's weighted. It's like almost the last thing besides singled out. So that's, it takes a while. I recorded my whole leveling process on hardcore. I just didn't, I didn't stream while playing. I heard that PUBG 2 was coming out or something. We talked about that. I, I don't know where we talked about that. I don't remember what podcast it was or where we talked about it, but. OMG Joe, I had the wildest experience tonight, went on Grinder for the first time tonight while met Jose tonight and he treated my not like it was the steak dinner of a buffet. Oh I've never god. had that done to me before and I'm now super gay. I love penis. Oh Come. my god. <laughs> Good lord, Terry. Jesus, Terry. Are you serious, Terry Bunkett? Oh my god, Terry. That's nasty, bro. Grinder. 
I've heard people mention that name. I have never, I don't even know what that is. But I've heard people mention it before. And it's usually got something to do with like, sh like turds and ball sacks and weird shit. I don't know. So I'm like, yeah, I'm all right. I'm not even going to look at what that is. So I haven't even looked into what that is yet. I feel like it's from the horrific like mentions that I've heard already. You know? But you know, Terry, thank you for the donation, man. I mean, thanks for getting me. <laughs> what the fuck? Grinder. Isn't that like a sandwich or something? Or like a sub or whatever? Yo, give me a grinder. I think I heard Drew earlier talking about um, Mario or Mario or whatever. Dude, only like fucking New York assholes say Mario. Okay. But to be honest, I think that might actually be the way to say it because, um, I mean, they are, they're fucking plumbers from like Brooklyn, right? Aren't they like New York Italian plumbers from Brooklyn or whatever? So they would say Mario. So I say Mario, but we probably say it wrong. I can't stand when I hear Mario. I want to fucking pull my eyeballs out of my head. But that honestly probably is the real way to say it. In all honesty, I think we're wrong. I say Mario, but you know, there's some big fat greasy slob sitting there going like fucking Mario, you fucking idiot. It's fucking Mario. You know, in being in Boston, man, we just don't, we just, we talk a lot of shit about New York, you know, fucking Mario, 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 brother. Oh, we got ourselves some set items to drop in, brother. Ooh, Paragon up, bitches. Paragon up, bitches. I'm going to play the shit out of Diablo 3 until we get to BlizzCon line Friday night. I'm super dorked out, bro. I don't give a shit about World of Warcraft either. I don't even care. They're, gonna, they're probably going to release Burning Crusades remake or classic or whatever. I don't care. Fuck it. I'm there for all the Diablo shit. Bring me all the Diablo shit. And, and Overwatch isn't going to be till next year. So anybody, you know, waiting for Overwatch, you're going to be waiting till next year, brother. I'm just trying to collect death's breath. So I'm like finishing off the rift, even though like this is dumb. Did I miss a, a set item? No, wait. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, there we go. All right. Let's check it out. I was about to sleep. HTML picks. What's going on, man? You can go to sleep. It's all good. I'm just chilling out here. Real casual. I wish Cornette goes back to WWE. Fernando Rodriguez. What up, Fernando? What up, Jacob? Joe, where, where did your load land tonight? Actually, hasn't yet. It hasn't yet. What up, Matt Action? If anybody wants to become a member, yeah, become a member. It makes me wet. What up, Steve Kalan? Um, yeah, I haven't. That hasn't happened yet. It's going to happen later, though. You know? I love this fucking track. Do, 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 do. I like this one. I don't know who does. If I knew who made this song, I would like. I'd like shout this shit out. It's so good. I'm, this one's fire, bro. Wow, this is fire. Justin McNeil. Oh my God, Justin. What's up, dude? Man, Justin McNeil is like a long time, huge patron supporter, man. He was like at the hundred dollar spot for like over like two years or something crazy, man. Uh, Justin, nah, it was like, it really wasn't that good. It was like, I gave it a six out of 10 or something like that. It was the, the opening women's match was kind of the best match and you know that I thought that was pretty good, but it was like, 
you know there wasn't a lot to be i didn't love it i thought it was it was nice it was nice to watch a show and it was pretty good but you know it wasn't you know nothing crazy they and they did a poor job on commentary you know we, we went into a lot of stuff earlier, I guess, on it. We kind of, we really, we had a lot to break down on it, I thought. I thought we got a pretty good amount of commentary on, on the show tonight. I mean, I mean, our commentary on it. The commentary was terrible. The actual show commentary was fucking horrible. Or maybe if it wasn't horrible, but it was like, you know. It was just like, eh. Why is Snoop on the cover? Um, the reason why Snoop's on the cover is because I used the last time that I did Sunday Night Gaming. I used the last thumbnail. I didn't want to make a new one. And I I don't know why, but some something was going on with Snoop in the news. Something was up with Snoop in the news, and I don't remember what it was. But anyway, that's the reason. Something was up with Snoop in the news. Snoop, today in the news, Snoop Dogg. I'm down with this one too, man. This one's making me want to rock it too. I had a shower a few minutes ago, so I got puffy hair going on. What did Drew just send me? I don't know what the fuck Drew just sent me. Shit bomb! Yo! You become a shit bomb. What up, JCS Foot Rub? All the donations are, ba are back to fully working down below. Um, I mean, not all of them, but I mean, all the ones that, the, all the ones that are listed down below should be working. Yeah. Finally figured out a lot of stuff. I got new ones coming too. I think JC's foot rub. Thanks for the dollar. I got to get rid of the dollar ones though. Oh no, it's a super chat. So those, those always play actually. And we are live now on the purple place. What is up with this? This song is making me want to just start fornicating all over the place. Joe, been watching a shit since Mania 30. Love a shit. Love the hockey talk here on Lego Kings. Keep up the good work, brother. Yeah, hopefully it works out for you guys better than last year. Uh, John D, what up, John? Ah, uh, dude, um, the, um, the Bruins have been pretty good, man, over here. I mean, pretty crazy for the beginning of the season. We took a pretty big loss to uh, the Islanders the other night, though. I think the Islanders are going to be in the, you know, top eight at the end of the year. So it's... Or even maybe top, even top six. So that doesn't bother me too much. Um, You guys will be better this year, I think, than last year. But you know how... I don't know. Oh man, I almost fucking died right there. See, this is why I gotta be careful. John, thank you for the donation, man. Let's kill this gold goblin. And then we'll fucking look at John's thing. And he's dead. He's dead. No portal open, that sucked. Um... Huh. Steve Kalan made a video. Um, Steve Kalan, man, thank you for the host, dude. I don't know why that didn't come up. That's weird. Very strange. Um, let me see what's going on with that. 
Yo. Um. Weird. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. What up, JCS Foot Rub? Yeah, I made you a little goblin hunting in a few. Still looking for that rainbow goblin, you know? Still looking for that rainbow, that uh, cosmic wings. How many years has it been of looking for fucking cosmic wings? I mean, <laughs> I mean, like, I've been looking for them for years, streaming it, too, like, a lot of it. I still don't even have a rainbow portrait. You could fuck around with that tonight, I guess, too. I've probably done... God, I've probably done 800 runs for the rainbow portrait and don't have it. It's a lot of wasted time. Searching for a fucking flaming... Rainbow, uh, portrait. And I like it, though, man. I told you I like rainbows. I don't care, bro. I like it. I, I, I like gay people. You know, I like rainbows. Even if the rainbow was like the, the flag of Satan, I would still like it because I like rainbows. I don't care. I'm not gay. I don't care if you are gay or not gay. I like rainbows. It has nothing to do with it. I enjoy rainbows. And uh, But you know what I mean? Now I can enjoy rainbows and appear to be supporting uh, the LGBTQ. So that's, that's, that's cool, right? So I'm going to get a rainbow portrait and I'm going to... I'm going to rock that rainbow portrait if I can get it. And people are going to be like, wow. And I'm going to be like, dude, I love rainbows. I don't know. Sorry. Fucking rainbow bright when I was a kid. Care Bears. Like, rainbows and shit. Fucking Punky Brewster. She had like a rainbow fucking thing on her knee pad in the 80s. Like, rainbows were big in the 80s, dude. Everything was rainbows. People had rainbows around their neck, their head. Like, fucking rainbows everywhere. Just people love rainbows in the 80s. Fucking reading rainbow. I mean, it's crazy. Everything was rainbows. There was a fucking... There was a rainbow at the beginning of uh, Rainbow Bright. Like, right? She rode the rainbow with the horse. And then at the beginning of uh, reading rainbow, it's like the big rainbow came across the screen. Take a look. It's in a book. Reading rainbow. John, man, it's good to have hockey back, though. Dude, I watched John Boy's breakdown of uh, the Bruins New York Rangers fight the other day. I was fucking dying, dude. That shit was hilarious. That guy's hilarious. What a good fight. Good fights. Young guys. Didn't really understand what was going on, but, you know. I remember when the Bruins and anybody is a Dallas Stars fan, man. I remember when the Bruins and the Dallas Stars had like fucking five fights in like 3 seconds. That was crazy as shit, dude. That was wild. I was like, dude, is there going to be another fight? There was like three fights in three minutes or something. It was it was nuts. Now we got tons of rainbows in the chat. See, look at what we did. That's crazy. Joe, rainbows are awesome. It's also a promise of God not to flood the earth, but to burn it clean. Okay. Jacob RP, what up? Screw Bullfrog, says Randy Viper. I mean, yeah, I mean, everybody can get on board with that. Right? I can pretty much all get on board. Aru Shinchu! What up, Aru? Aru in the house on the purple place. I'm getting ready for season 23 of Diablo 3. It probably won't be forever, you know? I'm just super pumped up for BlizzCon Line, man, Friday night. I'm not talking about it too much because, like, I know this is, like, an audience that people are just here to hang out and they don't even know Diablo, so they don't care. So I'm not like going to go all fucking nerdy because people are just going to be like, what? I don't care. But, you know, when it comes to this week, I'll probably have a lot of stuff on my gaming channel and I'll probably get wicked dorky. Oh, damn. I thought that was a different belt than what it is. Yeah, I need ancients, like good ancients. I don't have any good ancients. Oh, I might have wanted to keep those NEMs, though, so I could flip them. Hmm, didn't think about that. Uh, 
I really would like some ancient boots. That'd be cool. Town is so lava right now. I'm spending too much time in town. Too much town in town. Too much time in town. Say that fast. Arushin Ju. Too much time in town. Too much time in town. Too much time in town. Too much time in two. Yeah, yeah, do it. See? Fuck. It got me. Arushin Chu's over on the purple place, so shout out to him for being there. How's the stream look? Because I'm like streaming like a million things, and this is like. Probably shouldn't even be possible right now, what I'm doing. Especially since my computer's been weird the last few days. Or weeks, months, whatever it's been. Something always happens to my computers, dude. I buy a new computer, and then like within like seven months, it's like, oh, there's a problem. And I can't even say it because now it's like a meme at this point. Like, people are like, oh, Joe needs a new computer again. Like, he just needs money or something. And it's like, no, dude, this is really not happening. Like, it's really bad that it's, it's really happening. It's not good either because then all the money that comes in has to go to the computer. So it's like, it's not even a good thing. It's not good. It's bad. But uh, I don't know, man. The last couple weeks, it's been fine. Uh, it's been great. Probably not getting uh, fucking attacked. That's why I didn't. That's why I don't always bring it up. I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna bother people with it. Fuck it. I'm not even gonna say it. But I like. I don't know. My whole show's always been about like literally commenting on exactly what's going on right at the exact moment. And I'm. I'm not. There's no filter of it, anything. Usually, but recently I've had quite a filter this past year. I'm just being like, yeah, I shouldn't, I'm not even going to mention that. People will think whatever. But then it's like, dude, the only people they're going to think that are like scumbag people that don't even like you anyway. So it's like, why don't I just, who gives a fuck, you know? But I get it because I watch people too. And like when I watch, you know, people have patterns, you know, that you see them repeat stuff or contradict themselves eventually. And you go, man, this person fake. Are they fake? They might be fake. Like, there's a band I like. I love this band, right? And I love the singer and the guy and whatever. And, you know, but over the years with band members, I've seen them be fake. And this isn't even a joke, man. I've actually seen this. Um, you know, like, originally when this band changed their sound, the guy was like, oh, we're so excited for it. And it's the way to go. The way, we, like, and basically he, like, he made fun of the way they used to sound. Like, he made fun of it. He was like, yeah, I couldn't stand. Like, it's so terrible to go back and listen to my raspy voice from before. Now I have, I sing really good and everything is really great. And, oh, we're so happy with this CD. And we got rid of all the weird sounds we used to have and everything. And it was like, what the fuck, dude? When I heard that shit, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, wow, this guy's shitting on everything they ever did. And they've got three records before this. And, and they're gold records. You know what I mean? And now the guy's shitting on his band and shitting on the stuff they did. And the new stuff is weird. You know what I mean? I'm like, this fucking new shit is weird. And he's shitting on the old stuff. And I, I was kind of mad about that because I was like, what the fuck? And then like years later, he would go on to say it was the record label and, and he didn't agree with it. And then the other people in the band wanted to do that. And, th and then like, and, and, and members of his band would come and go and stuff. And they, they broke, when they broke, they broke up, right? And he started a new band. And when he started a new band, over the years, you know, one one or two members would end up leaving and stuff like that. And it was always the other members' fault. And he would always, like, kind of make fun of what their th ideas of things were. But it's like, you went along with that. What do you... It was so weird, man. The guy always blames everyone left and right all over the place. It's very weird. And I've been following him my whole life. Like, my whole life. Shit, boy! So I know it's him. You become... It's very strange. A shit bomb. It's not corn, psycho gas. <laughs> what up, JCS Foot Rub? Thanks. What's funny about it is um, I actually was reading a comment for an interview from the guy the other day. And other people... There was a couple people in the chat in the interview on the comments that wrote stuff like... So what, whose fault is it this time? What story version of it is this, this time? And I'm like, oh my God, other people are picking up on it. Holy shit. Like other people are picking up on it. Because you can't help it. If you follow someone for long enough, you kind of start to pick up on what they, you know what I mean? You just notice things. 
I'm sure people like, I'm sure I do it and people go, you know, here's where Joe does this or that and the other thing. But usually with me, it's just that I'm dumb. It's not that I have a motive. It's I'm stupid. But this guy, dude, he clearly throws everybody under the bus. It's so weird. And I love, I love the band and I love the guy, you know, I, but it's like, also like he cheated on his wife and stuff with people that like, I know. And he, it's weird, dude. I don't know. It's a weird thing. What am I doing right now? Oh, I know what I'm doing. Leveling up this gem. Jesus. JCS foot rub coming in with the dollar. What? That's weird. A Russian chew still hanging hard on the on the purple place. It's clown from Slipknot. It's a much smaller band, but Is, is, why is clown like that on Slipknot? He's a fucking clown. Fuck. Your favorite band is Winger? I mean, that's all right, I guess. They got a couple fire, fire tracks. If it wasn't for copyrights, I'd throw on Journey right now. Dude, I'd rock some fucking Journey right now if I could. I just go level up this gem now that I think about it. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm on my hardcore character, so I'm only Paragon 600. Might switch over to my regular seasonal too in a minute. I don't know. There's really no point in that, I guess. Oh, I know what the point is. The point is to not die. <laughs> I can take it more easy. I'll probably forget though that I'm not playing hardcore and still be playing like all careful. And then when I die, I'll probably freak out and have a heart attack and think I just died in hardcore. And then I'll realize, oh yeah, I didn't die in hardcore. Oh my god. You know, I'll be like, oh my god, no. And then I'll be like, oh yeah, I'm not playing hardcore. That's fucking hilarious. Uh, people have seen me die in hardcore before, and I, I one night I flipped out. I literally flipped the fuck out on stream. Um, there was another night where I didn't flip out, but it was funny. It was just funny because it was like, I don't know, man. I, I look, I look, I look like I'd seen a ghost raped by Bill Cosby. But I wouldn't say that it was that night was too funny, but it was just I might look on my face was funny. And I didn't even know that until later on when someone sent me the clip. And I'm like, that's fucking hilarious. Like I, I kinda died and I was like, oh, it wasn't even that funny, whatever, I'm dead. You know, people would whatever. And then but when that guy sent me the clip, he was like, dude, look at your face. And I'm like, oh my god, you're right, that's fucking funny. My face was like, oh my god. Right when I died, my face like changed into like sadness like I look like I just got fired from a job that I've been at for like four years like when that really happened to me in 2017 that's probably what I looked like when they fired me when they, when they laid me off and they were like yo so here's what's happening I think I probably look just like that I probably look like hey what's going on I'm having what's up this is weird to have a meeting in the, in the middle in the like an hour into the day this is weird You know how fucked up it is? They took everybody to a meeting. And then as they were taking people to a meeting, um, the, the manager was like, not you though. The guy was like, hey, don't, you're not, don't go to the meeting. Can you come over to the room over here? And I'm like, what? Fuck. Like I'm, first I'm, 
first I was like getting all my shit together for the day. Like, here's what I'm going to do. And I was writing all this stuff down. And I'm like, I got to respond to all these emails or whatever. And um, I was like, oh, fuck, I didn't get back to this guy. And I had like, I had some emails that were like crazy that I had to get to. And I was like, oh, and then I see, oh, we're having a meeting, everybody to the blah, blah. blah. I'm like, oh, no, fuck. I got to do all this shit. I got to call this guy. I got to make sure this is going on. And now we're having a meeting. Fuck. Oh, my God. All right. I hope the meeting's quick. And then as I get up, you know, the man, one of the managers is like, hey, uh, not you on, on the meeting. Um, can you go over to room 3B? And I'm like, what the fuck? Okay. I'm like, what the hell? What? I'm not going to the meeting? That's weird. And then I go into the room and they're like, oh, yeah, so uh, you're, you're late. You're gone. Get the fuck out, Bobby. And, I, and dude, as I went back to the desk, I was shit in bomb! 100% shock. You become a shit bomb. <laughs> Love you forever, Joe. Oh, Heart. shit. Fernando, what's up, dude? 3,500. What the fuck do they call your money again? That's like five bucks, right? It's like five American dollars. Like Chilean... Chilean something. But yeah, dude, I was like, thank you very much, man, for the donation. I was like in shock, bro. I was like, what? And then when I got back, to, then I started panicking. I actually sent an email because there was someone that was like, who should I call for? And I actually told the person. And then I, and then I started being like, trying to, like, I was actually trying to tell, like, my man, my other manager walked me out was the one that was like, I'll walk you out. And she was crying and shit. Like, she was upset. And she was crying because she was like, couldn't, I don't know. She was upset that I was gone. And, um, as, um, it was like, like, it was like when you got to shoot a puppy or something or shoot a dog, you know, she was like, okay, have a, have a good day. Like, I'm like, okay. And, but as we were walking down the stairs, I'm like saying stuff to her, like important stuff. Like, Hey, um, make sure you check, like. There's an email from Susan something in my email and like she's waiting for this thing to happen. You have to email store 74 Se store 74 has the fucking thing she needs and she's looking for them and, and nobody's whatever. And, and, um, blah, 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 and I'm like reiterating all this stuff and I'm like, go, go look at my email. There's like fucking 10 things going on today. Um, in my note folder, there's like five things I had to do. I wrote them all down and all the information's in the fucking notes. I was like, all those things have to be done. Like, and I'm, and I'm telling her this as I'm fired, you know, it's like, it's weird that I was, I, I, I was thinking about that. I, I shouldn't, I, I should have been thinking about like, I fucking want to blow this place up. But instead I, <laughs> I was thinking like, oh no, I, these people are never going to get their shit. Like, they, cause I'm just, they just, you're fired, leave. And like, what about all the stuff that you don't even know about that I'm doing that I have to do that has to be done. I don't know it was crazy, and um, yeah, A and half those people don't work there anymore, and I miss all those people. I miss that time, man. I miss uh, knowing all those people. But I guess the cool thing was, as soon as I I came home and I told everybody here on YouTube, uh, you guys started. Uh, everybody here started dropping donos and signing up on Patreon and made this show what it is really because of that firing in 2017 so shout out to being fired i guess i got to do the dream job for the last three years and we ended up getting a house it's a little scary now but last three years was a pretty fucking cool ride you know all because i got fired that day or laid off fired kicked out I don't know whatever you want to call it you're high as fuck Fernando what's up dude this music will get you high dude this shit will make you high Disney IRL TV I hope all is well I go by beautiful tomorrow TV now okay cool why, you, what, you got rid of the Disney part because you're afraid about the molesting stuff? You were like, yeah, let me... Let me drop that Disney thing since people think that I'm abducting kids now.
Chilean peso. There you go. I never. I always forget that. I always forget that. I always have to ask because I forget every time. Think peso, but it's Chilean. Go further down the southern border, and the peso becomes a Chilean peso. An earthquake peso. Chilean earthquakes. When I think southern U.S., I think tornadoes. When I think Chile, I think earthquake. What do you think when you think Boston? Oh shit, donation or something. What was that? What what the fuck just happened? Oh shit, Donnie M. He just resubbed after 22 months. Holy shit, brother. Did that even play? I don't even see it. Donnie M, thank you, Donnie. There it is. Twenty two months from Donnie M, thank you, Donnie. I should be done with this rift already, but I'm sitting here dicking around. What a dingus. Thank you, Donnie. Oh, Johnny. Twenty two months, ma'am. I might beat a Russian Chew eventually someday. Yeah, I've been dicking around. Should have been done with this riff so long ago. I love the ambient music of the 90s, like the, you know, music like that's in the fifth element, the soundtrack on the fifth element and weird like 90s sort of instrumentals that are ambient sounding like electro-ish, but more ambient. They remind me of the, of the internet in the 90s and like, you know, just, oh man, I don't know that feeling, man, I got too much nostalgia. It's too much nostalgia, man. I get so sappy about the old days. It's, I'm the worst. Like, like even like Bjork. Bjork had a lot of songs in the '90s, like that sort of style. Like. I will check that out, Drew. That looks funny. That looks funny. Shit bomb! You become a shit bomb. Joe, what's your favorite video game console? Oh my god. That's a tough one. I don't know, man. That's a tough one. I mean, maybe it's Xbox 360. Uh, I I think I'd have to say maybe Xbox 360. I guess because that's the one like I played the most. Like that was the hottest time ever. I think. I don't know. I mean, like the original Nintendo was super special, bro. And I've said it a million times, but 
you know, I, I really wanted Nintendo really bad when I was little and my parents said no and sort of, and then, or my mom said no, my parents said no. And then one day we were driving and my dad just went in the car was like, oh shit. Jason Tar, man, thank you for 24 months, Jason. Thank you, Jason. One day my mother was like, my dad was like randomly, he was like, hey, uh, let's go get the Nintendo or whatever. And my mom was like, Joe, like, what do you do? And my dad was like, no, 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 let's go ahead. Let's get it for him. You know, he really likes that stuff. He really likes the games and everything. I saw him play. And my mother, my mother tells me that what happened was, my dad said no and she said no and they both agreed like nah we're not gonna get him any video games and I guess my dad saw me playing at the arcade or something like that I was playing something at the arcade and he just he just saw how happy I was or like how crazy it was and how good I he, he said my mom said how good I was at it and everything else and he was like he like changed his mind like right then and there and was like we got to get him that and they stopped. Like, this was when we had money, too. This was when, like, you know, I, I became poor after this when my dad died. But we were, like, really well off until I was about, you know, 8 or 10. You know, after my a couple years after my dad died, that's when we went poor. But, uh, you know, I must I was probably, like, four. I was about five years old. Four, about four years old, something. It was 1989. And uh, my dad was, like... Yeah, let's go get him Nintendo. So Nintendo was special to me because I loved it so much. I wanted it so bad. I can remember wanting it so bad. And so then we had Mario and uh, a couple other games and, you know, N Ninja Turtles. I remember getting Ninja Turtles for uh, Christmas. And I remember thinking that this is nothing like the Ninja Turtles cartoon that I watch. But and it was so hard. It was a frustrating game. Um, and but I just love the original Nintendo and um I skipped, um, I skipped the Super Nintendo. We rented it. Oh, another thing is that I loved watching the, um, I love playing Sega and, uh, the original Sega, original Sega, not Sega Genesis. And I love playing Sega and I would play that over people, my friend's house at one point. And, um, eventually my mother, w they ended up getting me Sega Genesis. So I had Sega Genesis and... So Sega Genesis and Nintendo, man, those were the best. Like plugging one of, one of those in was just the shit. Absolutely love love the na the days of Nintendo and Sega Genesis. And then we would rent the Super Nintendo every once in a while from the place or whatever, and that was fun, but. Then my friend had Sega CD, and I got to play Sega CD over his house. And then PlayStation was out, and I got the PlayStation. And PlayStation was one of the best times ever was that first PlayStation. The first PlayStation, like fucking Jet Moto, Twisted Metal, Resident Evil, Metal Gear Solid. Um, just you name it on PlayStation 1, dude. There was so much shit. PlayStation 1 was awesome. And then I'll never forget when Xbox came out. When the original Xbox came out, bro, I was... I was beside myself, bro. I, I loved Halo, and I loved that system so much. I can smell it. I can taste it. Everything about that first system. I can remember it all, man. I can smell it, taste it feel it I remember how amazing it was fucking awesome wow it feels like I'm going way fast now now that I'm on my seasonal instead of my hardcore seasonal um, but yeah I'd say when Xbox 360 came out we were playing the shit out of video games and I don't know man I'm I don't know if I I, I don't know man like nostalgia wise it's hard it's like it's hard for me to say. I mean, see, see the original Xbox. You know, really, it was all about ha it was all about Halo. There wasn't too much else on original Xbox that was like fire that I loved. You know, I mean, like Enter the Matrix was really good. There was a bunch of other games. So, part of me wants to say like the original Xbox, but there just wasn't a lot of games besides Halo. But it was so fun playing Halo that Halo was 
I mean, my God, that was everything in 01 to 04. Or 01 to 06 or whatever. But, I mean, when 360 came out, it was whatever it was, 05 to... 2005 to 2012, it was Xbox 360 all the way. You know, I don't know. So, favorite console, I'm not sure. It might be 360, but it... I mean, the original PlayStation was also a really fun time, man. That was... Alright, I'm not in hardcore anymore, so I gotta remember that I can die. It's okay if I die. Even though I probably won't die at level 87 rift. It's still freaky. We're not gonna stop until we get a primal tonight. Shit bomb! You become a shit bomb. Drew Bar! Joe, would you live in a Navi? Would I live with a Navi? What? Oh, live in an RV. I thought you were trying to say, like, would I live with the Navi? Like, like in the fucking Avatar movie. I'm like, dude, live with the Navi. Live in an RV? Um. Yeah, I mean, maybe if I had to, I guess. But I'd also... It'd be fun to live in it for a little while, right? I don't know how much fun it'd be after, like, a couple weeks, but... I mean... I mean... If I had to, but it'd be kind of fun in a way. But if you're saying like, but I mean, I probably couldn't afford to, you know what I mean? Even a crappy one. I can't afford to live in an RV. Unless you're saying like I had to sell my house and I went, I got poor and we had to buy an RV and live in an RV. I mean, that could, I guess that, you know. It depends, man. I yeah. I mean, I'd want if I wanted to be in an RV, it'd be because I was rich, and we were like, we're rich and bored. We want to do some traveling and sleeping around in a. In a let's go buy one of those eight like two hundred thousand dollar RVs, you know. Like one of my neighbors up the street has like a fucking dude. This RV is the size of a of a real band's touring bus. Like, I mean, I've seen RVs, and I've seen really good-looking RVs that are, like, expensive. This is fucking insane. I looked up the fucking price on this goddamn RV. This RV is $189,000. I'm like, dude, this guy's RV is, like, almost our house. And it's right up the street, and next to the RV, he has a boat. He's got a fucking boat and an RV, and then he's got a house. I'm like, dude, his boat and RV are worth as much as his house. That house is probably worth $400,000. The RV and boat are probably combined for the same thing. Fucking crazy. And he lives up the road. Oh, wait, why am I buying boots? Fucking crazy. I'm like, dude, what does this guy do for a job? Or what did he do for a job? To have a goddamn RV and boat. Just nuts. Wow, my game was. Do you see that stutter? Holy shit. This game was freaking out just now. It was like, oh, I can't deal with it. I haven't looked at the Twitch uh, chat in a while. We exploded monsters, brother. Oh God, I hate this rip. Spaghetti. We'll be out of this real quick, though, at least. A 
I should do it right here. There we go. If I had to zigzag anymore throughout this place, I would have been pissed. No primals. I'm working on a Roblox game on my on my spare time, which I really don't have. So <laughs> ridiculous. Coding is a pain in the fucking ass. Let me tell you that. Oh man. Pimpin' ho, nationwide. Joe, did you see what happened in Texas with that pileup accident? Yeah, I did, Jacob. What's up, Jacob? Dude, I saw that. That was, cr it was like fucking horrific. My parents lived in a fifth wheel, in a five, what? Fifth wheel for 10 years. My dad had a caretaker gig at a campground. That's pretty cool. I mean, that's pretty cool. I, I I think that would you live in New Bedford, Joe? New Bed Bedfed? No, I would not live in New Bedford. I mean, maybe if I like drugs, I'd live in New Bedford. Would you live in New Bedford? Paragon 1094. It's time once again for everybody to come aboard the Ho Train. Dom 652. How long did it take you to get to level 1000? What difficulty are you on? What's up, Dom? Dom, are you still in the chat? Write something in the chat so I know you're still here. Um, how long did it take me to get to 1000? Um, I don't know. Let's go look at how long I've played this character this season. Um, let's see. Ba -ba -ba -ba. 127 hours and I probably reached Paragon a thousand, like probably played 27 hours over a thousand. So. I don't know, man. Probably 110 hours. Probably about 110 hours. So, yeah. So that's four days. Four and a half days, right? I, I was playing pretty casually. So, no, but I, I probably reached Paragon 1000 in, I don't know, week, week two or something. I don't know. Something like that. Thank you, Dom, for the follow. Why is it playing that for everything? <laughs> so weird. I don't know. So weird, man. Fuck cancel culture shit. Fuck Karen, you dumb bitch. Fuck Karen, suck my dick. Dom, thanks for the follow, man. What's going on? Yeah, I had no idea. I'm here. Okay. Yeah, man. Um... I'm, I I really hope that we get information. I know it's like I made a video on this on Evil Spectrum Three on my YouTube channel, but if we get Diablo Four Juice, that's crazy, and then we get a Diablo Two remake, and then we get like Diablo Immortal stuff that's good, and then we get, dude, if we get something like Diablo Three season news and whatever and then they unveil what the pet and the wings are for the Diablo 3 loot in the blizzard um, chest or whatever the fuck it is I mean if we get all of that at BlizzCon I will freak out bro I'll have a my head will blow up like my head will explode dude um I have unity on on my speed build. That's so weird. I don't know what I'm doing. That's so funny. That is a that is a weird thing to have on. I never use unity, you know? Never. 
Right, I remember when you had to have Unity, and it was like, yeah, you better have Unity on, bro. Can't wait for Diablo 4 once it's out on set. Well, maybe. I mean, if it's good, we'll see. I mean, dude, remember how excited everybody was for Diablo 3? And then it was like, what? What the hell is this? Diablo 3 has turned into a really fun game that's not nothing like what we thought it was going to be, but... Like, I saw someone the other day being like, I mean, it's so stupid. Once you pick your character, that's your character, and that's it. It's like, yeah, I agree, but basically Diablo 3 isn't that game anymore. Diablo 3 isn't about, like, let me see what I can find so I can craft a character. You know, it's not even it's not about that anymore. Now it's just about, like, hey, the season started. Let's see how weird the cool season interacts with everything, and then I'm going to try to race to uh, make the leaderboard, maybe, and... And it's just fun to redo it every three or four months. But it's it's totally different from Diablo 4 where it was like... Oh, I mean Diablo 2 where it was like... Oh man, I can't wait to see what type of character I can build and like... But at the same time, what if something crazy drops, you know, like... What if I find that mar fucking Marlis Kaleidoscope or whatever? Or whatever, name your unique that you want to find and what am I going to do with these rune words or whatever oh I messed up my character I think I want to redo a character I think I'm going to roll a new character and do this you know it's like weird it's just a different thing and I really think Diablo 4 is looking to be like a mix of both in a way I don't think but, but I, what I do what I like what I like is that we can go back to Diablo 2 anytime you want to have that adventure again. You can go back to Diablo 2, man, and you can start all over again. And I mean, whatever. I mean, I'm a little sick of Diablo 2 myself because I just played the shit out of Diablo 2 that I'm kind of like... But every once in a while, I have that feeling like, and I can play it for like, you know, for a while. And I'm like, oh yeah, let's start over again and let's do it. Um, But with Diablo 3 it's like the first the first two to four weeks of a season are always fun always fire I have fun so my point in this is that when Diablo 4 is out assuming Diablo 4 is good in a different way for being like a hybrid game you know and being you know whatever it's gonna be we'll still be able to go back to Diablo 3 and do the season in Diablo 3 and then we'll be still be able to go back to Diablo 2 and have some fun with Diablo 2 and it's like it's weird we're getting it's just getting another game that I can go back to and play you know so like I'm pretty you know like I don't know so I hope that Diablo 4 is a different game because I still can play Diablo 3 and 2 so I hope Diablo 4 is some kind of different game that's fun in a different way but in a, you know, in a similar way, than, but in a different way. And Immortal, I mean, well, you know, I'll never really play it much. I'll, but, I mean, I will when I'm, you know, I'm bored or I'm doing something or I'm going to bed and I want to just kind of mess around a little bit. I'll play it a little bit. It's kind of like Hearthstone. I, I, I'll pick up Hearthstone and play a couple games and then I'll go to sleep. Other than that, I don't play phone games really at all, so... It's amazing how Diablo 3 became a game that was viable to play though after it really was like I mean I've been playing Diablo 3 since the day it came out and it's it's on its like third fourth or fifth iteration of what it what it's been with all the updates so far it looks like it has more replayability especially with the huge maps and side missions yeah I mean I, you might you're right but we still don't really know what the end game is we don't know what the end game in Diablo 4 is at all. You know, I mean, Diablo 3 looked like it was going to be this amazing thing, and then, like, nobody could find shit. And then we all had to use the auction house. And then I basically just made my living on the au uh, selling things on the auction house. I remember thinking I was going to quit my job. I was like, dude, I'm going to quit my job and just flip items on Diablo. This is awesome. And I didn't even care about my character, I was just flipping stuff. My first like eight months on Diablo was playing the auction house and making eight hundred dollars. 
And then it was like, oh, this is over. The whole community's dead. The community like ran. Oh! Oh, it was the Harringtons. Fuck. I thought it was the Hunters. I got excited for nothing. I got heartburn. Why do I have heartburn? Ugh. I haven't even taken a shot yet. I gotta get my vodka, bro. Drew Bar, thank you for that dono. I didn't miss it, did I? No, I didn't. Okay. Drew Bar has a big one. been a rough February, I'll tell you that. No primals. I don't remember how many primals we were on. I used to always put the counter up on the screen and I don't remember what we were at. I'd have to go look at my inventory and then even that's wrong because I've deleted a few, so. I wanna say we're at like 20. Maybe I'm thinking, of, I don't even know. I'd have to, maybe I'd go back and look at one of my older streams. That'd probably tell me. Look at my last Diablo stream. That'll probably tell me. To get out of this rift now. Where did you go to learn the sets and where to find them, or did you just figure it out from playing for so long? And sorry for all the questions. I'm more of a casual player, and I want to get into grinding for sets. Man, you must be a newer, really casual, um, in a way, Dom. Uh, yeah, Dom. It's um. I mean, every season it's sort of just easy. Every, every season you just kind of start from one and you start and you start um, you start your way up. You know what I mean? Like I, I've I've played uh, every. I mean, if you play season, I mean, you, you no, know, everybody plays season now. Nobody plays the regular character because if you play season, if you play a lot. Okay, I guess if you only played, say if you only played Diablo for like an hour to two hours a week, I guess then maybe I could see you never playing seasonal because you're just like, oh, I don't care. I just play my regular character and that's it. Because you're playing at such a small, slow, casual, very casual pace that you're just never really going to have time to hit the numbers on seasonal anyway, so you just play regular character. But if you're playing regular, I mean... You know, within, you know, within a hundred hours of play, you know, within a hundred hours of play, you're going to get to, you know, a thousand Paragon. You're, you're going to have a set. You're going to have, you're going to have all the sets by then. So you should be able to do that. Even if you're super casual, you know, because, you know, what's, I mean, if, if you're playing like three hours a week right say you're only playing three hours a week i mean i guess that could be that could be rough three hours a week is a year almost right 
It would take you about a year to get to Paragon 1200 if you played three hours a week. I mean, I, I would, I, I probably, when the season starts, I probably play like friggin' probably play 40 hours, maybe 30 hours a week when the season starts, 8, 16, 20, or like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah, I probably play 25 hours to 35 hours a week when the season starts. Because I play three, I play like two to five hours every night. You know, as opposed to other people who play like 15 hours a day or like 20 hours a day. You know, that's crazy. I don't have time for that. I've been playing Diablo for like five years, but never really got into the seasons. So, Dom, I was like you. I got to be honest, dude. I, Dom, I was like you. I didn't start getting into seasons, really. What I would do is probably something that you've done, which is like you start the season and then you play for a little bit and then you're like, uh, forget this. Uh, it's, this is too hard. It's too much stuff. And I don't even, uh, and you just give up and you go back to your regular character. And then I be, I even used to think to myself, why do people play seasons? It's stupid. But it's like, that's dumb. Like, no, dude, it's wicked fun to play seasons waiting for the next seasonal thing to come out what's it going to be starting from zero and looking for the stuff I, dude it's become so fun i probably didn't really get into seasons until season 13 like i played season one two three four then i kind of didn't play too much then i would come back season seven eight you know didn't do much at all and and then finally around season 13 i said dude i gotta play these seasons and i tried for the first time and I didn't even complete uh, complete a season until season 16. I think it was season 16 when I completed it and got my first stash tab. And my wife was playing with me too. So she was getting everything. And I was like, dude, I play this game all the time. My wife's getting everything and I'm not getting it. What am I doing? So then I started playing for real. And um, now, I, now I barely ever play. Uh, I only play my main for the... For, to take the stuff I found in the season and put it on my main character that's better obviously and then I make I, I level up I level up my main to you know playing you know I, I do the greater rift you know I, I do the biggest greater rift I can with my main so that my main character hits the highest greater rift like okay now I can do a, a level you know 130 greater rift with my main character you know and I want to eventually get my main character to have all primals you know but other than that, I don't play my main character ever. So it's important to me as like a collection, like to collect, put all my collection into my main character. But the seasons are what are super fun. And so thank goodness I finally got into the seasons into season 13. Because it's made this game so much funner. And I was hating on it for a while because I was like, I don't get it. I don't want to do it. Now I love it. Finding a good podcast to listen to with Diablo 3 stuff too, or, or good Diablo stuff, that always helps you get through it too. You're like listening to people talk about Diablo and you're like, yeah, this is shit. I'm playing this. Let's go. Um, so yeah, I mean like I, I tried Path of Exile and I went, nope, this is too much. Can't do it. So, you know, I don't, I'm, I'm I mean, I think I'm almost a casual in a way, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm like pretty serious, but still kind of a casual. You know what I mean? Like I'm doing Greater Rift. I'm doing solo Greater Rift. Like what am I doing? 115 or something? I don't know. Yeah, 115. So I'm doing like 115 solos. You know, like the top Demon Hunter people, what do the leaderboards say? 126. Like look at how far behind I am now. 126, dude. I could maybe... I could maybe push it and get to 120 right now if I wanted to. Maybe 121. People are rocking 126. I'm probably not going to catch up this season to make the leaderboard at all. Probably won't make the leaderboard this season. So, you know, right now it's really just about trying to get some primals, get juiced up a little more. Maybe I can, maybe I can make a last minute ditch effort to hit it. And it's also about just, I, I'm still, I like searching for the rainbow goblins because I want to get the cosmic wings. So I'm hunting rainbow goblins for the cosmic wings. So that's, that's cool. But 
I mean, I'm you know after the first couple of weeks of the season, I'm pretty much it's kind of like uh, I've already I've already completed the seasonal journey, and now I complete the seasonal journey every season. Ever since season 18, I've completed every seasonal journey. You know, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 20, 22. But I, I didn't complete the seasonal journeys at all before uh, season 16. So, you know, I get where you're at. I get that. And, you know, maybe part of that is because I was working, like, I was working my full-time regular job. Now that my full-time job is YouTube, you know what I mean? Like, when I was working 40 hours a week at my regular job... And then working like 30 hours a week on YouTube, I had like no time and then I have three kids. So maybe that's a big part of it. Why I kind of was like, oh, this, like, you know, I can't do seasons. But now that I have a lot more free time and I still don't have a lot because I'm still three kids and, you know, all the stuff going on with the channel and the other stuff I got to do. So, you know, it's. But yeah, I mean, when you learn a few things more about Diablo 3, you start going, oh. I mean, because really Diablo 3, there's no mystery to like finding the sets or finding the things. It's already, it's easy. It's all done. It's all there for you. It's all just there. It's not like another game where you got to find stuff and decide what your build is and do all these decisions and stuff. And it's complicated. Like Diablo 3 is so like, oh, found this. Now I build this. Found that. Um, you should use icy veins or something like that. I would say you should use icy veins to begin with. You know, Diablo fans and all the other ones, they're all great too. But, I mean, if you're newer or if you just whatever simple, just go to icy veins. Pull up the shit that you need to find and do that. When you're starting a season, you know what I mean, on, on Demon Hunter, you know, I I do the I do the uh, Legacy of Dreams, you know, if I have to until I find the set stuff. You know, I do what I can with Impale. You you, you want to roll a dagger. I mean, it's all... Um, you can look up a million guides on that, too, on, like, fast season start, and they'll just walk you through the whole thing. I don't. I recommend just playing around, but you if you've been playing a while now for five years and you're stuck where you are, I was stuck, too, for a while because I wasn't trying to be better or whatever. And then I was like, oh, shit, like, what was I doing, you know? So if now you're at the point where you're like, you know what? I think I've had enough of being a super casual. I think I really want to like push the game and have fun doing that and do the seasons. Then, then you should start looking up quick seasonal starts and, and like listen to a guy guide you through the beginning of the season and, and, and play along to that YouTube video and even play along to some podcasts maybe and, Start looking up what stuff really does and how it works and stuff like that. And you'll have, I think you'll have more fun. Because I hit a wall like you did at some point where I was like, I need help, I think. Because I'm not playing this game. Everyone else is killing it. What am I, why am I not having the success everyone else is having? And there was, um, and it's really not hard at all. You know, there were little things that I wasn't doing, some skills that I had where I was like, I think I'm going to do this skill instead because of this, that, the other thing. And then, you know, I'd listen to someone and be like, and they'd be like, yeah, you can't do that because this other skill is like doing such and such. That's why there's a, there's a, a build. That's the, that's the reason why Diablo 3 isn't the greatest because it's like everything is already built for you. Like there's no, you don't get to decide what goes in your build. There's already a build made. Like there's already, the best builds are already there. Like they're already out there. You just got to go look up the build guy. But what's fun is the race at the beginning of the season and trying to find loot. I don't know. Um, I have been playing for a long time. Okay, I got that. Destiny 2 co-stream. Yo, Liquid Motions. What's up, dude? Destiny 2 probably coming out next year. Uh, Dom. What's up, Dom? Yeah, I probably do. Yeah, I stream. I stream pretty often. I've been a little bit quiet recently because I've been streaming on my main channel on YouTube. Which is like a wrestling podcast thing. And I have a I have a gaming channel on YouTube too, but it's kinda smaller. It's like only nine thousand subs and and on Twitch I, I stream uh I used to stream like every other night on Twitch. But recently I was kinda quiet for the last couple weeks. But um when the Diablo stuff comes out I'll be really streaming again. Especially when Diablo uh, the season twenty three happens. I'll be fired up. 
Oh. Yeah, there's going to be no... It looks like Overwatch is next year. Liquid. I'm not... I'm not... I don't even care. I'm not even in Overwatch anymore, so it's like whatever. What am I leveling up? I'm, oh, I'm leveling up a gem. I'm fucking... I spaced out. Let me check out the... the whoa. The chat is wet. Break up Google now. How bad was NXT? Uh, six out of ten, I think. It had, you know it had a couple of okay matches. Wasn't anything special. Could have been worse, I guess. Right? I guess NXT. My 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 take from NXT is it could have been worse. Could have been better, but yeah, man. If you need help with anything, you can always hit me up or whatever. I'll try to help you out on Diablo, and let me know what class you are or whatever. I can help you out. Man, I thought I was on hardcore there for a second. See, I told you I was gonna do that. I was like, oh. Hard hardcore is weird because yeah, if you die, you lose. You're dead. You lose everything. You lose everything your your character is carrying. So I never played hardcore either. I always that was another thing I never played hardcore ever. And I said anybody who plays hardcore is a psycho. Like that's stupid. But dude, like three seasons ago, for whatever reason, three seasons ago, I was like, you know what? I'm bored of the season now. I'm gonna start a hardcore character and see how far I get. And I got to Paragon 300 and it was wicked fun. Like I had so much fun. I was like, wow, I get it. I get it now. I get why people play hardcore now. Cause I always thought like, forget fucking no way. I'm not doing that. Cause I'll flip out if I die, you know, lose everything. But it's everything your character's wearing. So if you have stuff in your stash, it stays there. You still have it. So when you, when you start back over at level zero, if you have any rolled back items like with r reduced level requirement, you know, you can stick them on your character. When you get duplicate set items, you just save them so you can reset your guy. And yeah, it's going to cost you a lot of time a little bit to level back up to 70 and whatever, but you still got the cube that doesn't go away. And so. So this is my third year doing a hardcore character and uh, my highest I ever hit on hardcore was 600 Paragon, which is pretty newish, right? Because real people that play hardcore normally, they're like rocking a thousand to two thousand Paragon getting serious. So for me to hit 600 is nothing compared to a regular player. But for me, 600 is the highest I've ever hit. So, And I'll probably hit, I'll probably hit a thousand if, if, uh, Unless season 23 drops like really soon, which it won't. Seems like season 23 is fucking ways away. So I may hit Paragon a thousand for the first time on a hardcore character. Maybe. Damn, that unity is pretty hot. But who the, I don't need that. And now I'm on my regular seasonal because I'm afraid I'm going to die on... Uh, my hardcore because I'm reading chats. Yo. Stop buying boots. I don't need boots. Oh my god, what am I fucking doing? I actually have an ancient that's better than the primals that I have on, which is sad, but. I, I friggin' Q. I, uh. Yeah. Oh, wait. These don't even have. Uh, I didn't even put a leg legendary gem in these. What the hell? That's why the other ones are better. They got the they got gemmed. That's what it is. Gargano and Kushida, best match of the night. I gave that my number two, to be honest. But you might be right that it was the best in a way. I don't know why I went with the women, but that and the women's match at first was great. 
And then the women's championship match was terrible. Fudge, man, that was not fun to me, but I only like I only liked Kushida and Gargano and the women's match. I didn't like any I pretty much didn't like anything else really. I didn't think the tag match was very good. It was just jumping around everywhere, goofy. If people like that match, then I'm happy for you because you had fun. I was kind of just like, uh, cool, I guess. Night. Why? Why am I not doing any damage on anybody? Am I lagging right now? The fuck was that? That was weird. What is going on right now? That was really weird. Waiting for a pylon. Probably could have hung there and cleaned up, but I was like, yeah, let me get out of this rift. We get a pylon right away anyway. Look at that. We're just wrecking bitches right now. We're just wrecking bitches. Oh, we're just wrecking bitches. Is there, I feel like something's broken on my character. No, everything's there. I felt like I was doing not enough damage. It's weird. Why was that was weird? MSK was fun, but pretty vanilla. That's what I kind of thought. They had a good promo though. Good promo before their match, I thought. Yeah, I saw the PewDiePie. A lot of people sent me a lot of PewDiePie stuff today. He must have been dissing everybody. Did I really forget to level something up? Alright boys and girls, I'm going to call it a night. I can't believe it, but I'm going to call it a night. Boom. Thanks to everybody for being here on my second stream of the night. JCS Foot Rub, you're a beast, bro. Thank you, dude. And everybody else in the chat. Devin, Spirit, everybody. Juan. Dom. Liquid Motions. Hey everybody, good night. Thank you for being here. Glad you followed. Thank you so much for following. I'll be back with more tomorrow. Hit me up on Twitter at JCS Commentary. Joe Cronin Show on YouTube. Evil Spectrum 3 on YouTube. Shame on News on YouTube. Corrupted Nation on YouTube. Patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. We just hit 300 patrons again tonight. And uh, 50 million views on YouTube. We're on Twitch. Good night. Uh, yeah. Oscar. What's up, Oscar? Peace, Craig.